Hello everybody and welcome to a very special episode of Humans in the News. Yes, that's right. This is Humans in the Year. Now, as I'm sure you can imagine, it's been a pretty full year. I could find so much to talk about, but it's kind of hard to find stuff to talk about without it just being, you know, depressing. So I think we can start by looking at the roller coaster year that Uncle Donald has had, because that is somehow both depressing and optimistic at the same time. So let's start with that. Because who would have dared to hope as the year got on? I mean, he still hasn't actually conceded that he lost the election, so it still seems quite hopeful now that he's actually going to go. But who could have dared to hope earlier this year that he actually would go? And yet here it is. So what are we going to do now? Who else is going to be able to cause massive diplomatic incidents by calling COVID China virus? Or just by asserting that things are what he says? You know, like how you can just grab people. How soup is better than a brick. <sighs> I feel that our world will be more stable. But perhaps we have lost a huge source of comedy. Personally, I'm quite happy to make that trade. But it also makes me uneasy. I mean, Uncle Joe has got in just by virtue of not being Uncle Donald. Who knows what's going to happen? He does seem more of a statesman, more trustworthy, less corrupt. But that's not saying very much. You're talking about comparing him to Uncle Donald. I feel our moral compass has gotten a little bit broken in all of this. So come on, Uncle Joe, step up, sort things out. And not too many gaffes, OK? Please, please. Anyway, now I'm going to hand over to Bletin, who for some reason thinks it's a really good idea to reflect on Covid. Do your best, Bletin, please. OK, over to Bletin. Thank you, Zula. Now, it has been a very good year if you are COVID. Not so good if you're not. Anyway, the year started with the reassuring advice that everyone wanted. Wash your hands. And then it didn't really change that much, to be honest. Everybody was told to look out for a temperature. That would be the giveaway, except when it wasn't. And then you have a new and recurring cough, which is also the symptom for many more basic colds and flu. But that's nothing to worry about. I'm sure that throughout the course of the year, nobody was at all alarmed by a simple cough or cold. No, because we were given other symptoms to be aware of. A loss or change in sense of taste or smell, which uh, does occasionally happen with other coughs and colds. So really, uh, that wasn't much help. Uh, and again, that sort of hasn't changed either, really. So basically, just wash your hands, people. But then as the pandemic moved on, we moved to the discussion of face masks. And just about every country had a different approach. Wear one, don't wear one, sometimes wear one, only wear one in the fourth phase of the moon if it's a Tuesday. There's quite a lot of that went on. But as people, uh, especially the ones on the internet, rage about the efficiency, usefulness and effectiveness of a face mask, uh, everyone just keeps washing their hands anyway. And then as the year moved on, we find a new strain to keep us all on our toes. 
Yeah, 2020 was getting boring, right? So does this one have any different symptoms? No. Nope. And what advice could be given to stop it spreading? Uh, wash your hands. Well, at least the guidance has been consistent. Well, on that one thing anyway. For the rest of it, stay at home, don't stay at home, go to work, don't go to work, go on holiday, but you know, not there. Compared to that, wash your hands has been reliably constant and reassuring. This deadly disease can be defeated if you wash your hands. There we go, I think that's that's a year in a nutshell. Uh, pretty sure I didn't miss anything, right? Back to you, Zula. Really, Bletton? Really? I mean, did you really think that was an appropriate topic in a year like this? Well, yes, I did. It has figured very prominently throughout the year. I think even an idiot would agree with me. <sighs> and yes, it has been the source of many, many bad things, much suffering and grief for a lot of people which is why I decided to focus on a small set of facts. When this whole thing has been run by alarming statistics, let's bring it down to the basics. That's what I'm here for. And the basics are, wash your hands. I think I've been very responsible actually, Zula. I despair, I, I truly, I despair. I mean, I know you humans are bad, but you're primitive, but him? Oh. Anyway, here's a word from our sponsor. I don't want to be a bother. I don't want to make a fuss. I don't wish to be a financial burden. I just want to head off peacefully. I just want a simple funeral. Wait, wait, what? Funeral? This, this is an advert for a funeral? How, how, how are you people even doing this? I, what is this supposed to be? You just dig a hole in the garden? Is that what this is about? Oh my goodness. I mean, I thought it was just going to be for a shopping on a website or something. You know, some sort of supermarket saying, hey, we've made our online shop even easier. But funerals? Oh, you humans. Wow. So, one of the big topics of this year... No, I, I don't mean Uncle Donald. Uh, no, I, I don't mean Covid either. But one of the things that has cropped up an awful lot this year is your human ambition to travel to outer space. Now, I can only assume that it's because things have been pretty rubbish on this planet lately. But frankly, I don't think you people need to be in a hurry. I mean, we've got all these ideas of having some sort of lunar base. We've found water there. There's going to be new trips to the moon. And then there'll be some sort of stop off point for you to get to Mars or further. But I think you humans really need to remember one important thing. You are primitive. These ideas are so far above you that even you haven't realised it yet. So just chill out, enjoy this planet a bit more, and then, you know, give it another 50, 100 years, then you might be ready to move house. And then the rest of the galaxy might be ready to have you. Who knows? And now, over to Kure for the, uh, weather? Over to you, Kure. Thank you, Zula. Well, this year has been a big year for social media. The problem is that you can't seem to make your mind up about it. So sure, it's seen a boom as people are locked down and they're trying to get to meet each other in lots of different ways. Coolio!
but then you start to get worried about how they're spewing all this misinformation this year. Oh my goodness, the conspiracy theorists have had a field day. Wow. So I think that you humans just need to decide what you like more, cat videos and talking to each other or something that some people are calling freedom of speech because I think you've got your ideas a little bit messed up. Regulating social media is not an infringement of freedom of speech. It implies that your species should have some sort of shared value of what you think is acceptable for the good of all of you. And you people have really struggled with that this year, haven't you? Wow. Oh my goodness. So why don't you spend the next couple of months just figuring out what you humans really want? Maybe think about, you know, saving yourselves. Because I'm far too busy. Wow. Wow. Back to you, Zula. What? was that? That wasn't the weather. Of course it's about the weather. It's about whether or not the humans can find some common ground and shared values for their greater good. Yeah. I mean, I, are you doing this on purpose now? Are you doing this to irritate me? Are you willfully misunderstanding or do you really believe that? I don't know what you mean. Come on. I don't know what makes you think it's worth my time to bother. Meow. Meow. Uh, anyway. Anyway. Special mention of the year goes to the nation's sweetheart, the queen of the non-apology, and someone who is definitely, definitely not a bully. No, no, not a bully. That's right, it's Pretty Patel. And what a year it has been for her. She's had some illegal deportations thwarted. She's managed to avoid making a lot of apologies. And she has definitely spent a lot of time smirking. But I think perhaps my favourite part of the year was when, weeks into the first lockdown, she earnestly told a press conference that shoplifting figures were down. Yes, well done Pretty. It takes a very special sort of person to claim that victory at a time when all non-essential retail was shut. Well done Pretty. That's, uh, that's really impressive. Sort of Uncle Donald kind of impressive. Well done. So there we go, everybody. The last humans of the year. And I will see you next year for more news, more humans, and hopefully slightly less drama. But who knows, right? Happy New Year. See you soon.